Welcome back to Rygoodpool.com. Today, we are going to dive into the world of GUI, that is Graphical User Interface Programming in Python using Twikinto library. Well, we'll walk you through the process of creating a basic GUI applications that features a button. In the last video, I've already covered introductions and detail about Twikinto library in Python. Feel free to refer this link in the descriptions. Now, here we will walk you through how to create button using Twikinto library. For working with Twikinto, we have to first import the Twikinto library so that we can use their attributes which is available in Twikinto. So Twikinto as TK here we are adding and we'll use the same name for our further code. Now this library is defined, this is required or important to use the library so that we can use it for other attributes, definitions and other fields. Now if I want to click on the button, definitely we have to define the definitions. Def is the functions on after define on button click there should be some actions and this is really close so here we have built this definitions on button click after that we want to add button dot config so here we'll add some button dot config dot config and after that we will add text equal to click clicked and we want to define the state so here we will add state which will help us to define the state of the button tweakinter dot disabled we'll select second options and when the button is clicked the functions will be called inside the functions we'll update the button text to click and disable the button that's the main reason we have created or written this code next is root we wanted to create root equal to tk dot tk functions so here we'll add tk function and after that we wanted to add the title so here i want to define the title for adding the title i will add here root dot title and the some text here so i will add sample button this will be fine and after that this is a window or gui application using tk class we are setting the title of the window using the dot title method and after that i want to use the button so here we'll add button equal to equal to tk dot button and after that i want to add root comma text so here i will add text as click me this is the next options i want to add here as a command so whenever this button clicks there should be in some command which will call so here we'll add command equal to on button click functions which we have created in above section and next we will add back so here this is fine and next options i want to add as button 
dot pack. Here I will define add x equal to 30 comma pad by equal to 20. So to creating a widget, normally we are using button class in Python Tweaker library. For setting the text on the button, click here. We have added click me by using text keywords. Other than that, we have also specified the functions to call when the button will be clicked. In this case, we have used on button click method to call it. Pack method is normally helping us to add the button to the window. And finally, we have used pad X and pad Y for defining the padding space between the button for better look and feel. So this is how we can call it out as addition of button. And finally, I will add here root dot main loop and then close. So the main loop method is necessary to start the UI event loop, which keeps the application running and responsive. This is a simple example to introduce you to GUI. That's the reason I'm keeping till here. Let me run this code and see the result. So I'm running for this. Here we have some We have to install some packages. Let me finish it. This miss. So here we want. Okay, now formatting is done. This time we'll not get in any error. So let me run this and here we have this button available. Whenever I will click, this will be changed to click. And this is how we can create tweaking dot UI or GUI by using Python tweaking to library. So let's summarize this. You started with importing this library so that we can use other attributes like button, radio button, click and every events. After that, we have written button for opening or creating the button. Next options we have used to call or add the label. And finally, we have added click event. So this is a simple example to introduce you to the GUI programming with Tweak I would request you to try with some complex logic to build the program to learn more about Python Quickinto library. Now, thanks for watching. If you found this video, to you, video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Check out our other videos on Python and programming. See you next time. Thank you for watching.